and welcome back to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be doing zero and how to record CI subcontractors and how to create their invoices. Now I know we did a contractor video quite a while ago. It is a very very similar co concept. It's just instead of creating customers, we're creating suppliers as a subcontractor. So let's get into the video right now. But just before I do, please leave a like on the video. Please subscribe and also leave a comment if you have any questions about these videos that we're creating please leave a comment i encourage you to do so just so you're clear on how to use this software that's what these videos are that's what we've decided to do at less tax to pay is make sure that these videos for the average business person are easy to follow and you get to use them get the maximum out of your software so let's get right into it now so we're in the dashboard now of our zero software you can see we've got our demo demonstration company now. So we firstly have to go to contacts, then suppliers. Then we need to create a new supplier. So we add a contact and I'm going to call it DEF construction. And the name is going to be Dave Smart. Okay, you can fill out the rest of this detail if you want to. Phone numbers, email addresses if you want to send... Uh, any information to them through the software, obviously all their contact details if you're using Xero as your sort of contact relationship database for your suppliers, also the addresses. But here we want to go is enable adductions of CI subcontractor, so his registered name. Now you would automatically have got this this person verified before doing this. So this is where you can then set the rate, if it's 20%, 30% or their gross status. You can set the organization type if they're a sole trader, limited company partnership. I'm just going to the limited company. The unique tax reference, taxpayer reference, which is for this video, that. You'll also have your verification number, which you would have got back from the revenue or got back from your accountant if they're running your CIS submissions for you. And you can put that into the software. Now, where we want to go to is here, which is purchase settings. Now we can say it's tax inclusive or tax exclusive, no tax or none. Now, I normally set tax exclusive if you're VAT. If there's no tax involved because you're not VAT registered, you obviously put no tax. If you want to put tax inclusive because you have the total amount, then you can put tax inclusive. It's entirely down to you, it's whatever you prefer. But also we need to put in that the CIS, the default account is a CIS labor, labor account. Okay, and that will make sure that the deductions are done correctly and we're into uh, making sure that the VAT's added correctly, the deductions are added correctly, so it takes away the stress. So what you can do is you can save. Now if you need to verify, you can hit the other save contact and verify CIS details and that will take you through another screen. Uh, it says my formation. Oh, well, I forgot the company formation now because I said like, limit company. So there you go. We've saved the contact now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new. We're going to create a bill in the standard way. So if we go back to the dashboard, we go to bills you need to pay. New bill. All right. We're going to type in DEF. Comes up DEF construction. We're going to leave it as today's date. Uh, that's fine. Now we're going to put in what they've done for us. They've done five days labour. Quantity five, unit price £200 a day. Now, this for some reason defaults to tax inclusive. So if it was a £200 a day tax exclusive, so it's £1,000 plus VAT, we would select the tax exclusive part. And what you can see here is it's automatically selected the, the right account. It's automatically selected 20% on VAT. It's then gone to a subtotal of £1,000 plus 20% VAT, which is £200, total is £1,200, but the CI deduction is 20% to £200 deduction, leaving a total amount that you've got to pay out of £1,000. Now what you can do is approve that, and now once that's approved, what you can do is obviously add a payment manually if you haven't got a bank feed, but then you'd be also be able to go to your bank feed and go, right, I want to match up that with I'll just pick a random one this so I will go to DF construction and if that was a thousand pound payment instead of four and a half thousand I'd match it off you can't automatically do the CIS from the bank feed it won't allow you to it won't work out the CIS for you so you have to create a bill and then work it out from there okay 
So you have to create a bill in the first place before it will allow you to uh, match off the payment. If you haven't got a bank feed, then you can just manually add the payment. But I'd recommend you obviously have a bank feed. We're trying to make your life easy. So that's it for the video today. Uh, a very, very simple video, a very, very quick video. But like I said, we're bringing out more videos all the time. We do zero, QuickBooks, free agent, cash flow. We'll be doing also Receipt Bank is another one that we will be looking to do as well. We're a partner of theirs as well. And there'll be other softwares that we will do from time to time doing little tutorial videos on them as well. Maybe we'll do some Excel hints as well on this on this channel. Might be helpful for people that use Excel and want to try and work and do some calculations on that or how to structure their expenses. But that's it for now. Like I said at the start, please leave a like. Please drop a comment on this video or any other videos. If you've got a question about anything that we've done, please leave a comment and we'll come back to you. We'll reply to every single comment. Also, subscribe to the page and hit that bell notification. Like I said, there's more videos coming out. We're doing them pretty regularly now. Uh, so please subscribe and you'll get notified when we upload a new video. But until then, stay safe.